my name is Mariana, but you can call me Mari. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for personal reasons, I won't be able to upload or show one of the videos I was planning, one of the vlogs I was planning. And it makes me quite sad because I read a lot of good books then and I discovered one of my favorite classics, The Great Gatsby. But I will be showing you the rest of the books I read in July for the Summer Splash Readathon. I've been wanting to post this video for a while, obviously, and I hope you enjoy, I hope you like it. I'm not very good at vlogging. You will see some very shaky hand action and <laughs> me trying to make it steady, but probably isn't. And so I will be popping in and maybe filling in some things and clearing up some ideas. Just in case I was just rambling, I really like the books I read. I read Twilight, I read Our Wives Under the Sea, and I read The Song of Achilles in this vlog. So I hope you enjoy, I hope you're drinking water, and I hope you're taking care of yourself and that you're taking care of your heart. Yeah. It is like 3 a.m. in the morning. We are here waiting for our flight to go to Lima and then do a connection flight to Cancun, Mexico. <sighs> I'm tired, but it'll, it'll, yes, it'll <laughs> work out. That's my update. I'm going to be reading Black Swans by Eat Babbitts and hopefully finish it by the time I get on the plane. All right. Now you can see that we made it and I think the lens is a little bit fogged up because there's so much humidity here um, but I'm so happy to be here. I started reading Twilight last night so that's what I'm gonna be doing and I'm also reading red, blue, red, white and royal blue which is also quite good. So I'm gonna show you around, show you where we are so that you can see the place and yeah, exciting things. Oh, hi there. Hello. A few days have gone by <laughs> ever since I last updated you. I just kind of wanted to disconnect, take a day or two or three. Today's Tuesday. I got here on Saturday. I just have been doing nothing and enjoying, you know, my time here. And I've also been reading a lot. I finished Red, White and Royal Blue yesterday. Um, outside so that was for my touch grass section because I've read it all outside and or in a moving vehicle which I also consider kind of outside because I haven't really been able to like fully read a book outside are you sick of me saying outside yet and what else I am continuing reading Twilight which has been chef's kiss awesome experience I am thoroughly enjoying that and I am also just been annotating it. It's hilarious reading it at the beach or in the pool because I feel like, you know, it's like, oh, such an intellectual girl reading a book and then like they see what I'm reading and <laughs> honestly, I love it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with reading whatever you want to read, but I think it's funny because uh, it's not, you know, your typical um, like beach reading type of book but um, I think it's totally fine and I started the elephant tree in my Kindle and that's so, so that's the book I'm reading like aside from the summer splash TBR and yeah that is it for now I need to finish Twilight between today and tomorrow so that I'm able to read the song of Achilles by the 31st today is the 24th Fifth, I think if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, today's the 25th. So we still have some time and I think I can probably definitely finish those two in six days I think that's 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 a good mark. That's a good um a good goal so 
Today, I wanted to take you with me in my day here in Mexico, just relaxing. My room is a little messy. That's my bag that I'm taking with me. I'm gonna go have breakfast now and then probably just lay in the pool and breathe for a while. But um, but I wanted you to come with me. Also, I'm, I'm wearing this really pretty yellow dress. I never wore yellow ever. So I feel pretty, I feel cute. Let's go. All right, change of plans, everybody. Change of plans. Um, I am in the lobby, in the hotel lobby, and the change of plans is that I don't want to keep on reading the elephant tree because I'm very competitive and I need to finish the challenge for Surf's Up because I couldn't keep on reading Outline by Rachel Cusk. And so I've decided to maybe read I think the name is Our Wives Under the Sea and because I've seen it everywhere and I really want to read it and I saw Books and Bao recommend it and so now I have to read it and so that's the plan Turns out I'm really bad at vlogging in general and I already knew that that's why my channel is not it doesn't consist of um, reading vlogs because I forget to vlog when I'm reading and I think that's the whole point of these. So I'm sorry. I'm uh, drinking some beer about to, you know, wrap up the day and read. So I thought, <laughs> since I haven't really done that today, I will keep on recording as I read um, Twilight. And our goal, our collective goal, everybody watching this, our goal is to finish Twilight by today. So we are in page 331. This book has a total of almost 500 pages. So I have to read like uh, 100 and something around. <laughs> this is why I majored in English and not math. 331. Yeah, so okay, we're, we're just gonna read like 200 pages. The goal is to do it in around like two hours, maybe. So this is, I'm going to start a reading sprint in Discord. See if anybody is up for reading right now and then just get going. And seeing how far I get in like 30 minutes. And then I'll do another reading sprint for another 30 minutes and then we'll see. So, What's happened so far? I pretty much know that most of you already know what this book is about. But just in case you have been living under a rock and you have no idea what Twilight is about, which I doubt it, but it's about a girl who's 17 years old, let's remember that, and uh, the guy, the, the, the vampire, is also 17 years old, and they fall in love. And that's, that's it. <laughs> that's the plot of this book. Just a vampire and a girl falling in love. You know, you could already tell by that description. It's very insta-lovey. I mean, they say I love you in like a week and they barely kiss. And I plan on doing like a dedicated video on Twilight. I won't be really going in depth about my thoughts or any like, there isn't any theories that I have about it, but any like, I guess literary analysis that I can like draw from this, I will leave it for that video, if I ever make it. Uh, let me know if you're interested on watching like a video essay about theories around surrounding Twilight and just like essays that have been written about it, just like an academic review of Twilight and its themes. It's very in-depth. Let me know if you're interested in that because I am interested in doing it. I may do it just for myself, but you know, it's good to have some like outside pressure to do these things and like these projects. 
and uh, um, yeah so right now i'm at the part where bella is meeting edward's family the cullens and my tabbing system for this for this my tabbing system for this book has five different things number one things that i find funny or entertaining and you can tell that there's a lot of them because it's in blue the pink tab is when every time Bella says something or does something that is like, I'm not like other girls type of thing. The yellow tab is Edward and Bella. The purple tab is the Cullens, just like the Cullens as a concept. And then the last part is Edward being like a bad guy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's, that's what I'm tabbing and that's what I'm, you know, doing with this book. I'm just constantly writing, just like iconic, because I find it so iconic, like for real. Even if I laugh about it and I make jokes and I think it's a little bit ridiculous and, hilar and hilarious, I have to say that it's impressive that I haven't read this in like 10 years and I am enjoying it so much. I was like dreading reading it because I thought I was gonna hate it. And I thought I was gonna be really disappointed, but you know what? I think there's a lot of enjoyment in this book. Just as a, as a concept, but also as like a, like a fun reading experience. I would say it's a nice beach read. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. And my goal is to finish this by today. So that's what we're going to do. I am going to start the sprint in Discord. Hi. I'm feeling quite rusty. <clears throat> As you can probably tell, I'm sick. Yay! I can't go out. <laughs> I can't go out. I'm, I'm sick. sick. <laughs> Boo, you whore. It's probably gonna start raining any minute, and you can probably hear a lot of like, wind noises outside. So I am quite sick right now I don't know what it is but I just wanted to let you know that today since I am sick and I can't really do anything I'm just gonna be reading all day me if I have like you know the energy to and um, I finished Twilight it was amazing I will do a separate video for that and they started our wives under the sea and I'm also reading the song of Achilles by Madeline Miller for the Summer Splash Readathon because it's Sally's favorite book and that's the last prompt I have on the Summer Splash Readathon and today is Friday and I have to finish it by Sunday so I think we can do it I think I'm right on time and yeah I will be updating you letting you know how that goes it's really warm really humid and that's doing absolutely nothing for my cold right now so yay favorite t-shirt with some non-matching le leggings. I look excellent, great, we're looking good. Before I start reading, I kind of want to tell you what I think about this book because I'm really enjoying it a lot. I think so far it's probably one of my favorite books of the year. Books and Bar recommended it 
on their booktube channel and then I started seeing it everywhere on Instagram and so I decided to read it and it's about a lesbian couple one of them works as a submarine tech person it's almost like a marine biologist but not really it's someone who goes to observe the depths of the oceans in submarines and if there's something you need to know about me is that I am terrified of the sea like the openness of the sea in the ocean absolutely terrifies the hell out of me I would never I would never go on a submarine because I'm also terrified of like heights and like depths <laughs> like I love reading about it I love watching documentaries about the Marianas Trench because it has my name obviously <laughs> but also because usually when we are scared of things we, we like to I guess we like to like read about it because you know a little bit self masochistic um, energy doesn't hurt anybody I guess uh, so this book follows the two main characters perspective after um, one of the women, Leah, has come back from a submarine excursion that went on for a very long time and Miri, her partner, is trying to figure out how you know how to interact with her because she's not the same person she has, haunt, she has gone through deep trauma and I mean just by the fact of being stuck in a submarine for more than a month that's already terrifying but once they're talking about the like circadian rhythms, I think that's the name and how your body adapts to the environment through light and darkness and being in the dark for literally forever absolutely horrible and so I cannot again I cannot imagine going under on a submarine and having no electricity and just getting stuck there uh, even if there's a nice resolution because we know, we know she comes back she doesn't come back quite the same and some things are happening we don't know if it's like magical realism the descriptions are pretty scary and I'm just really enjoying it so far and so I'm gonna keep reading again I have a, an hour left and I love the like before and after perspective of their relationship I really like this relationship also I think the author is able to fully explore the characters interactions in both timelines without putting more importance into one or the other because for in Miri's case we get flashbacks and we also get like snippets from the present and in Leah's case the one who it goes to the submarine excursion she's mostly stuck in the past so we don't see her perspective from the present and that's also incredibly good writing because if you want to represent trauma trauma is mostly about things that happened to us in the past and reliving those things in the present and not being able to escape those memories and so incredible writing incredible quotes and I'm just really excited to finish it I think this probably will be a five-star read yay turns out this vlog is all about just picking it moment in the day to sit down and update you and what I'm reading and so I just wanted to take a moment to talk about The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller I finally got around to reading it I am almost finished with it I have like a hundred pages left and I started this for the Summer Splash Readathon and I counted it within the month of July just because obviously I I mean, I read most of it in July for the Summer Splash Readathon, but I couldn't finish it in time. Uh, and I wasn't going to pressure myself to f rush through it because I feel like it's just a book that you need to experience at your own pace and just enjoy the development of the story in general. I absolutely love Greek mythology. I think if I were to participate in any trivia or in anything, like if you were to ask me on the street, what is one history lesson you could give without notes? Probably maybe could be the Greeks and Greek mythology because I've always been interested in it. I took a course on it in high school and then I just kept on like listening to podcasts. I love looking at Greek mythology within like literary theory in my major. I actually wrote a paper about like a 
mixture between a feminist theorist and Greek mythology and I am obsessed with just learning more and I find this to be a very accessible way for people that may not know anything about Greek mythology. For me, it's more, it's even more enjoyable because I already know these characters and I know um, their sufferings, what they've been through. Every time they mention Odysseus, I'm like, yeah, I, I pretty much know everything about you, dude. <laughs> it's fine. Um, <laughs> and I've just been annotating the hell out of this book. I think it's the first time I've truly, truly annotated a book. Uh, thoroughly and I've been putting some tabs My tabbing system for this book has been all about feelings and just like feelings that are brought forth In the characters and what I feel while I'm reading it and just some bigger themes like pride and the relationship between Achilles and Patroclus um, femininity within the book just a representation of women or any feminine attribute given to a male character uh, meant to signify just femininity in general uh, which for the Greeks was the worst and in blue just quotes that I love and then I also dug eared the pages where my annotations just went ballistic and crazy and I just enjoy looking at it so much and I'm so happy so I'm, that's why I'm taking my time I don't want to rush the process of reading this but since I did finish Our Wives Under the Sea and absolutely loved it and just thought that it was a masterpiece incredible I decided I just wanted to also keep on reading just things that I've seen around and I got a little bit of FOMO from <laughs> from people reading La Bona in Instagram. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. That's how I've been pronouncing it for this long. Like I've just been reading the title and thinking La Bona, La Bona, La Bona, La, La Bona. So I've been reading that as well. Absolutely crazy unhinged. Um, makes no sense. That's no like real direction. I don't know where the story is going. I don't really care to know where the story is going. I'm just reading and kind of like along for the ride. I don't know if it was the best book to start her like anthology with. Like this is the first book I've read by Tessa um, Moshbag. Mosh Moshbag Mosh. Mm -hmm. You know I'm bad with names on. Why do I even try? <laughs> but yeah, so that's my update. And I just enjoyed participating in the Summer Splash Readathon so, so much. I've said it multiple times that I'm just so lucky to be able to meet all these amazing, incredible creators and people. And just everybody who participated is wonderful. And so I'm just very thankful and obviously to Sally that I've mentioned many many times because she's awesome and she's such an icon, a queen, a legend. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'll see you later. There's a lot of background noise here so I don't know if you can hear me but I'm gonna be reading The Song of Achilles and I'm looking forward to finishing it. I have about 40 pages left so yeah I'm gonna record myself reading it and maybe finish it. Yeah, that was me crying in the hotel lobby after finishing The Song of Achilles and while well, reading the last couple of pages. It was stunningly beautiful and heartbreaking and yeah. So that is it for the vlog. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. 
as I said in the beginning, I hope you're taking care of your heart. It's okay not to be okay. And it's okay to take time for yourself and time to heal. And so I will see you soon with a very exciting video. But until then, please, please take care of yourself. Bye-bye.